Hey everyone, it's Deb. Welcome to Cards with Paige and Peggy. Um, I'm going to say right off, I only got two cards done. I'm probably going to do this in two parts, one and two, because I do plan on making a few more cards. I just hadn't had time. Um, and I've got to go mow while it's sunny and not too hot. <laughs> Um, and I'll come back later today, hopefully, with a part two. So we'll see. We'll see how I do. It depends on how exhausted I am after mowing. So the first card I made, these are supposed to be birthday cards. And the optional is tiny or small envelope. So this is my first one. I used all uh, Stampin' Up! except the white cardstock, I think, was in my stash from Coordinations. Uh, this is Memento Black Ink, Crumb Cake. The stamp set I used is called Bella and Friends. And it's this cute little doggy here with the bird. They're on the same stamp. Um, I also used the Just For You and inside the Enjoy and the Cupcake several times and this little bird. So, yeah, I just made a little blue bird of happiness. The doggy's floating up with the balloon. And I just thought that was cute. So um, this background paper is the designer series paper in the neutrals that Stampin' Up! has. And I put it behind the white. The white goes all the way down to here. And I had this little extra sliver. And I just thought, well, that sort of makes it look like he's going to land in something. So I, I kind of liked that. Or going up from somewhere. And then this actually has polka dots and that's the reverse of this and I used a one and three quarter inch scallop punch that was not stamping up and a one and a half inch scallop punch that was not stamping up and I put them up on stampin dimensionals so then inside is the little envelope um, I just stamped some cupcakes I used my stampin blends in pool party and mango melody for the yellow uh, this is light pool party, and then I just outlined the icing in dark pool party. Here's the little bird, and it just comes out. And I made it so that you can stick a um, card in. You know, you could do like, this is a non, you could put it behind there and have a little gift card in there. And that's why it says, enjoy. <laughs> so that's the little birthday card, the first one and a little cuppy cake on the bottom and this is the designer series paper again I just made it I used my mini envelope punch board to make that and this just cut it uh, short the white paper okay so that's the first one and the second one the only other one I got done is this one this is the um, it's actually designer series paper that goes with this painted glass stamp mount set. It's vellum. Um, so I colored it in light pool party for the glass. Lovely lipstick light and dark for the flowers. Um, Blackberry bliss light and dark and dark pool party for the this butterfly. This one and this one are done in um, pumpkin pie light and dark and um, I believe mango melody light and dark also and this actually is the light black which is more gray um, on that butterfly body this one I did in dark pumpkin pie and uh, the, the leaves are done in call me clover light and dark mostly dark on this one and then I did use also the stamp butterfly flower and have a beautiful birthday and I didn't make a mini envelope but I made a pocket so this pulls out like this um, and it just says have a beautiful birthday and I made sure I stamped it so that the butterflies and the and the rose would show but the sentiment would not to pull it out so that is my second card um, and I stuck this down with um, uh, double-sided red tape that was not from Stampin' Up! either. I ended up not using the framelits. I might want to do another one with the framelits. 
I also wouldn't, I, I have so many things I want to try. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. So I did use this Have a Beautiful Birthday. And this color um, cardstock is Lovely Lipstick, which matches the flower colors and up here. And I put this down with um, Art Glitter Glue, the vellum onto the cardstock. And right now, I don't know if it's not dry yet, but it usually dries fast, but you can kind of see and I'm not crazy about that, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, and what I tried to do is, I don't, I don't see it on the piece itself, but I tried to put the glue where the lines were. So that doesn't show, but it does show up at the top on the lovely lipstick. And then this part is blank. It's just there for extra strength. And I put that down, guys, before you glue this down over it. Um, so that goes all the way through. And um, here is just a little strip of lovely lipstick. So I have white card base behind the stained glass. I thought it turned out okay. I didn't know what to do with this part here. I don't have that many colors in Stampin' Blends and I wasn't sure what would, maybe a gray or something, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. So those are my two cards I got done so far. And if I get to a part two, I'll share that with you later today, probably tonight. Uh, and today is the 15th, Wednesday. So go check out Paige, who is Stamp Girl, S-T-M-P-G-R-L, here on YouTube. And go check out Peggy, who is J-P Peggy. Well, I don't remember if it's one or two. Uh, I think it's two. But I'll have them linked below, okay? All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you the next time. Bye for now. Oh, and uh, just if you want any Stampin' Up! products, I will try to remember to tell you what they are. Uh, these, everything I used here is available in the annual catalog, so online, so it's available now, okay? Um, with the exception of maybe some of the Stampin' Blend markers. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.